Hey there, amazing traders. Welcome to today's volume of Trader Talk. I am back again. I know you guys have missed me. I'm sorry. I've been busy with other shit. And the way that I trade, I, I like to allow the market kind of like do its thing. Like I like to allow the market kind of like, you know, play around, play around with levels. I'm not the kind of trader who's always going to be stuck in front of their screen. So sometimes I can allow up to a week. This is why some some weeks we don't have trader talk because I need to allow the market breathe. You know what I mean? Like I need to allow the market, you know, play around and do what it needs to do. Um, but that being said, I'm back. I think today is volume eight. Wow, eight weeks. Volume eight. Welcome to volume eight of Trader Talk. Um, what I have in front of me right now is the GBP USD. Um, I'm going to be breaking down this breaking this down for you guys shortly. Um, for those of you guys who haven't um some people messaged me on telegram kind of like thanking me about you know all the progress they've made in their trading i always like to come on here and obviously acknowledge you guys because it's not easy trading is can be very daunting trading can be very stressful people lose a lot of money in trading so to see you guys especially the forex mastery students yeah to see you guys take the course and actually see what the course has done for you guys in terms of transforming your trading actually makes me really happy i'm happy that you guys no longer you know see the market for you know a get to rich, get to rich quick scheme i'm happy you guys are able to zoom out now and actually see the market from a higher time frame perspective i'm just happy that the, the, the program that i put together is actually impacting your lives positively so i want to say a big shout out to you guys i can't remember all the names on telegram i get like five messages every day thanking me you know about you know all the progress you guys have made you know after taking the forex mastery course so I, I see all of you guys congratulations so people are taking out two three k in profit i'm seeing the withdrawals um some people have been trading just about a year and because they've taken the program they're actually starting to see withdrawal some traders have never seen a withdrawal before in their in their lives and it's so refreshing to see some of you guys actually take the forex mastery course and obviously start making withdrawals because at the end of the day i don't care how good of a trader you are are you profitable profitability is always the determining factor for how good of a trader you are okay so the most important thing is you're making profitable trades and you're taking money out that's by the way let's jump into some charts yeah all right cool um yes for those of you guys who want the forex mastery program the link is going to be down below as always feel free to knock yourself out grab the program and transform your trading so guys i want to kick today off with um i want to kick today off with a gbp usd now like i said the reason why i haven't last week i didn't have a trader talk um the sunday so last sunday i had a webinar i didn't really share my screen it was more of you know the psychological approach to trading um you know the reason why i have stayed away from the charts and try to try as much as possible not to show you guys anything on the charts is because the analysis that i did the last time is pretty much still kind of playing out right it, it, sometimes the market needs time okay so i'm gonna kick things off with gbp usd okay gbp usd in front of us right here so this is gbp usd's weekly time frame and from what we discussed the last time, um, GBPUSD had formed a triple bottom with pretty much bounced into this region here. This was our overall kind of like our overall take profit area. We had we had predicted that the market was going to rally all the way from here, all the way here. You know, we were able to, well, we didn't bank all the pips all the way to the upside, but we were able to take something. But now we've come into here. What I'm actually seeing on GBPUSD at the moment is this. Yeah, so we've, we've kind of like hit a major resistance level and as you can see the market has failed to break you've actually rolled over pretty nicely back to the downside now just looking at this just looking at this right now the, the message i'm getting from gbp usd and especially if i draw my trend lines properly give me a sec guys if i draw my trend lines properly so the, the gist i'm really getting from this is 
we have run into major resistance we have broken the trend line we have tested the outer part of this trend line so this is known as a breakout retest continuation pattern that is playing out at the moment and from what i can see forex mastery students you know that we trade from zone to zone um at the moment the next available zone for a bearish movement is here so what i'm waiting for is pretty much a break of this level we have been unable to break this level i remember drawing this line how many weeks since as far back as 26th of march okay 25th of march um actually not 20th, 30th of march yeah so the market bounced here and was supposed to come let me just zoom this in properly so the idea was breakout retest bam to the downside however we came on here and we just called a bit to the upside it's possible that the market just wanted to come and fulfill all righteousness by testing the outer part of this trend line properly before eventually rolling over and guess what guys we're now back at the base of this minor support level now what i would ideally want to see happen here is a break of this minor support level to the downside and we could see jbp usd push all the way to the downside now how exactly are we going to be entering this market it's going to be a very clear case of a full four hour candle breakout i'm obviously going to have to scale now it depends on I get a lot of questions like, sir, you only talk about higher time frames. How do I execute on lower time frames? Now, execution for me, I have, um, should I really be saying this? I think it should be exclusive to Forex Mastery students. So I'll just give you guys a general peek. So it really depends on how we break out. Okay. If we break out and then I see the market kind of like chill, for instance, if we have a, this is exactly what I'm trying to explain to you. Uh, if we have a full breakout like this and then I see candles fizzle out just a little bit, pull back maybe 30, 40 pips, not that much, I would need to scale down to a one hour time frame and kind of like zoom in to see the retracement because on the four hour, I can't really see the retracement. I'll take it again. If a four hour candle breaks to the downside, yeah, and then I see... Um, some maybe two three four four hour candles just moving by the side not really pulling back enough to give me a four hour entry then i will need to scale to a one hour time frame too because when you scale lower you see more candles so by the time i scale to a one hour time frame and i see more candles i will now be able to draw a more accurate counter trend line for a more precise entry however if the four hour candle breaks and then I can visibly see pullbacks on with I can visibly see a pullback on a four hour time frame whereby the candles are actually looking like a proper pullback. Then my execution will remain on the four hour time frame. So this is why I keep telling you guys entries are quite relative. It all depends on you know how the market breaks out. What you know it all depends on the market condition at the time so and this is one module that i really want to add to the forex mastery course which i'm eventually going to do before the month runs out um i wanted i, I really want to have so there's, there's a module there on entries and exit but i want to speak about lower time frame entries and exits because this is very important as well now the reason why i haven't done this is because it is very very subject to a lot of different variables yeah for me it depends on how the breakout looks because being in a hurry to scale down to a lower time frame to get into a trade might have you getting into a premature trade so when it comes to scaling to lower time frames, i'm always very careful i i love four hour candle closes this is my this is this is what the way i prefer to get into trades because if a four hour candle can break out and close it means that we've had four one individual like we have four of the one hour candles four of four of them have come below here and they have closed not one one hour candle not two not three four this represents one four hour candle so if a four hour candle commits to a particular direction and closes then i know that one hour two hours three hours four whole one hour candles have closed below a particular level and it gives me more confidence to get into the trade so you know enough about the blabbing so if i were you guys exactly what i would do i'll wait for a four hour candle close down here and then i was probably scaled to a one hour and look for a pullback trade and i hop into the trade and 
um there's something i was going to add now guys most of you guys come into the market with your own strategy yeah you come into the market with your own strategy and all that what i always advise you guys to do is when you're done taking the forex mastery program that strategy you have don't throw it away just yet okay don't throw it away just yet all you need to do is use the what you learn from the forex mastery program to predict the directions properly and you're free to use whatever strategy you were using before to enter that market because most of the strategy you guys have are based on lower time frame movements simple gbp usd is looking bearish four hour candle on a higher time frame has closed and come back down a four hour candle has come here and has closed all you need to do is you can scale to a lower time frame and then use that strategy that you are using however you should only be using for looking for what selling opportunities this is exactly how you merge market analysis and trade execution okay so yeah guys but rule number one you must first of all know where the hell the market is going because if you don't know where the market is going sorry for you so this is exactly where the forex mastery program comes into play because it shows you the proper direction of the market and whatever strategy as long as the strategy it's, it doesn't even need to be the best strategy okay all you need to do is wait for your strategy to trigger a sell trade and then just execute the sell trade in accordance with what higher time frame directions higher time frame procedures okay so guys this is pretty much my analysis on gbpus yeah i know i have ranted a lot just on one pair but this is pretty much it. just by looking at it um it just looks like a step just look at it just look at it guys just look at it just just have a look forex mastery students you already know to me, this looks like if we form a base here, however, if we form a base here, we would most likely run up to the upside. So it's, you know, the market is kind of like a bit here, neither here nor there, but that's fine. I'm personally favoring the downside because I feel the dollar is going to strengthen pretty, um, in the, 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 um, we're going to have dollar strength pretty soon right so um i don't think there's any major fibonacci's to be drawn here so i'm expecting a break of here so like i keep telling you guys trading is a game of probabilities what are the probabilities that gbp usd will fall to the downside about 80 percent what are the probabilities that is going to go to the upside about 20 percent so if the probabilities are 80 percent that gbp usd is going to come down i would want to focus more on the downside movement so i'll prepare myself for selling opportunities however if the 20 percent is the case i wouldn't really be looking to get into the trade okay and the reason why i work in terms of probabilities is you can never even the best because even the best trader can never be 100 percent certain because the market is erratic it's millions of people with millions of ideologies with a lot of money different perspectives trading the market at the same time it's a lot of things to factor in right so all we can do is based on our technical analysis we can only estimate this is what i feel is going to happen based on pre sorry guys based on what has happened in the past historical price action and based on our technical analysis we can we can say that okay 80 percent is to the downside and 20 percent to the upside so we can rally to the upside i don't think so i'm really waiting for a break of this level and i would personally be getting short so this is gbp as you guys in a nutshell not a lot has happened since the last time this level was drawn like i said as far back as what the 26th of march the market hasn't come i said to you guys before this market is going to come here we need to break here so i'm going to wait i'm going to wait you you have to come and break this level right Jesus. guys in dubai we have funny things flying up and down the whole place you think you're in nigeria crazy man <laughs> all right guys so you know i'm just all i'm all i'm doing is i'm waiting for a break of here you know to see some further push the downside you know so then you guys you forex mastery students you know the market moves from zone to zone so i'm waiting for this market to collapse all the way down to this zone now over to AUD USD, a very similar scenario is actually playing out on AUD USD. i had done this analysis two weeks ago not a lot has happened this is a daily time frame if i count these candles very well they should probably be up to 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so the market was trading somewhere around there so about 14 candles which represents slightly over two weeks okay so what is happening is the market is pretty much moving sideways okay not a lot has happened now guys you see this sideways movement just look at this now because 
most of you guys are watching this are forex mastery students or you watch my youtube content you consume my videos you you guys can see the bigger picture this is the bigger picture right um AUD USD has touched this level if we break here we're gonna come here but guys a lot of people cannot see this you see this this is two weeks worth of consolidation I'm gonna take you guys to the one hour time frame to show you guys what exactly it looks like okay let me actually mark let me mark it properly okay I'm gonna put a proper market here so I'm just gonna use this to highlight this level so we can don't scroll too bad too too much Let's come to a one hour time frame so over the last two weeks this is exactly what AUD USD has been looking like on a one hour time frame so what would have most likely happened is to most traders is they would have been trying to pick tops and pick bottoms and trying to so this is where their strategy usually fails them okay because for those of us who have a bird's eye view we can see that is nothing but a minor consolidation but for people that are too zoomed into the market this is exactly what they can see they would have traded between six to seven times over the last seven weeks with no result why because this market is absolutely ranging it goes up it comes down you think it's going up it comes down you sell it goes back up if you think it's going up it's coming down this is absolutely madness whereas people like you and i okay forex mastery students the smart money traders we have stood on we, we've pretty much left the market alone why because we can see from a higher time frame perspective a lot of accounts have gotten blown in the last two weeks i know i can see it people message me and tell me oh my god these i'm like guys why are you trading why should you be trading just look at the daily time frame what does the daily time frame look like the daily nothing is happening nothing is happening for me i was chilling I've been chilling. This thing has just been doing no this is nothing. The market is doing nothing. People are getting their accounts blown while the market is doing nothing. Isn't that crazy? And then eventually when AUD USD wants to break down below here to drop from here to here or from here to here, you have no money left in your account. So these are the little things that you know a lot of traders fail to realize. Anyways, enough of the talk, 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 talk. What do I think about AUD USD? 80% to the downside. I'm waiting for a break. I said this in two, two, tech, two trader talk episodes ago. I'm waiting for a break down here, and then I'm going to see. We're gonna, we should expect some further downside, you know, to this yellow zone somewhere around here. Um, so it's pretty cool, pretty interesting. I'm just going to be chilling right now. The market isn't doing much. So 80% to the downside, 20% to the upside. Um, if I see a bullish engulfing candle to the upside, this pretty much means that this whole thing is invalidated however guys i can see a big head and shoulder forming okay left shoulder head this left shoulder right shoulder head this is the neckline higher time frame if we see a market forex mastery students you know if we see a chart pattern form on a high time frame like this be rest assured that is most likely going to play out all i'm doing is i'm waiting for a break of this level to the downside collapse done and guys <clears throat> how many pips is this five six three so probably about it's not a lot of pips AUD USD doesn't really the pip count on AUD USD isn't really that much maybe you might need to increase your <coughs> your risk a little bit so same scenario with GBP USD a break candle close here we're expecting further downside so 80 percent to the downside for now i have nothing to do with this market i'm chilling i'm spending time with my e-commerce business there are other things that i have to run i have you know willis university is there i have staff giving me headache all the time you know i have different things to to do all these things distract me two weeks you know two weeks i'm doing other stuff while the market is consolidating okay and then when it's eventually ready it's time to go but for now the market is not ready to go so guys getting a distraction away from forex is always very very ideal do not worry um my next webinar is going to be about e-commerce how to kickstart your online business my team and i are currently working on that margaret is currently working on the schedule for that event um 
a separate or rather an additional online business that can distract you from trading and you get to make money doing both of them so don't worry i'm working on that as well anyways AUD USD in a nutshell very simple once we get a break of um 0 0.75730 next level target is going to be here um, i'm going to round up with the euro now just looking at the euro the euro is a bit crazy now I was expecting that you guys know we're expecting the euro to rally all the way to the upside that did not happen we've come back down here we we're expecting the euro to drop here it gets in the middle somewhere around here actually this should be a black line this is a black line there should be a black line so the euro has come into this black line and has jumped all the way back to the upside now there's a rule in trading okay what if we're above this is a support level right above this is support so we've broken back down below support this support becomes resistant so now we're pretty much beneath this resistance level it's now support has now turned resistance so it's so the euro has come jumped back up to test this level now what will happen from here i can't really say for certain however i feel that the euro is going to tumble for some more pips to the downside this is what i feel okay because um I just feel so they, they, there isn't really much technicals to back it up at the moment let me see what the monthly time frame is saying yes i feel we're going to collapse some more because this is a bearish engulfing monthly candle i don't see this euro rejecting all the way to the upside at least we must come and test this blue zone somewhere around here you know so i'm just going to be waiting on the euro to do its thing or we can blow out to the upside i can't really say for certain it's going to take at least another three to four weeks for the euro to decide what exactly it wants to do so it's going to come here marry this level come here probably give us a rejection to the downside and then we can now eventually see what the euro wants to do so not much from the euro gp usd looking for sales aud usd looking for sales euro not much let's head over to gold now for gold i was short i was short gold now guys this this is one very quick trader talk the reason i'm making it very quick is because there isn't really much to talk about the market is still kind of like doing its thing we were short gold from here if you can check my previous trader talk i you know we called short gold from somewhere around here our overall targets were down here okay so this should be a lesson to you guys if you project so far with like forex mastery students when you project so far okay um i want you guys to always understand that your 2000 pips will not always play out why because sometimes the market is not just ready to give it up that's just, that's just the truth so in that case what do you do whenever it is you get into a trade like i've done for gold here i kept on screaming i must take out 50 percent of my position at the 100 percent retracement and that's exactly what happened i took out my trade here 50 percent of it i moved my stop loss from here to break even and as you can see the market has jumped back all the way to the upside stopped um we've taken some money out stopped me out for break even just imagine if i didn't do that i would have been in all this profit and now i would have been in all this loss okay so it's a very simple and straightforward situation right this setup was nice no matter how little your first level target is always bank that profit this is what is actually some of you guys at your technicals are actually quite on point but your trade management skills is just horrible because greed now comes into play okay obviously let's say for instance you had two lots open and the market was here you're thinking to yourself but if i just hold this thing for if i hold these two lots all the way down here i can make like 20k and then at the end of the day you start to see a bullish engulfing candle and then your your gains are gone and then now you're now holding on for dear life now you're even begging the market to please even come to your entry so that you can close out for break even shouldn't be the case whenever the market whatever once the market gives you a significant amount of gains you should never give it back lock in something lock in something so that's what's happening in the, in the case of gold we've bounced back to the upside but what is the future for gold now i'm going to quickly take you guys to the monthly time frame to see very simple and very straightforward um, analysis on gold at the moment i'm just gonna um alas 
let me quickly break it down for one one more time for you guys for those of you guys who are currently battling with gold at the moment now gold still pretty much remains the same for me so if i plot my key level very nicely here very you know done properly from what i can see on a monthly time frame which is the highest time frame i can see a double top okay I can see a double top a very clear chart i can see a double top forex mastery students you know that we go from zone to what zone we've touched this zone where is the next zone the bottom is the next zone somewhere around here how do we know we just need to look left okay so looking at gold at the moment i can see that um the next level target is going to be down here because of this double top now if i scale down to a lower time frame like a daily time frame now I remember when we when we when we attempted to sell gold somewhere inside of here um we always said to ourselves that our first level target was going to be give me a sec our first level target was going to be what here yes correct so what has happened is gold has actually come into this minor support level this is exactly why gold has been unable to head lower um, so far um, and also i noticed that there is a trend line holding gold intact at the moment so i'll just draw the trend line and i'll explain to you what i feel is happening with gold give me a sec guys so you see this gold trend line is a bit dicey so let's come to the daily i want to be able to see the weeks of the candle properly all right well i got new weeks properly so as you can see gold has there's some bullish confluence happening on gold at the moment okay it's bullish confluence i have minor support and i have trend line running across on gold so this is exactly what is stopping gold from heading lower so from in a nutshell monthly is telling us reversal sell bearish down daily is telling us it has hit support minor support trend. so highest time frame is telling me bearish daily time frame is telling me bullish now once there's a conflict between my market analysis time frame and my trade execution time frame what i god damn, what is flying what i do is I sit on my hands i chill guys my monthly and my daily need to align before i can have a strong conviction about any trade right now the daily time frame is this this guy is holding this market now so what do i feel will happen honestly like within my heart of heart my hardest of heart my heart what do i feel is going to happen let's see something What I honestly feel is going to happen, this bad boy is going to fall. Two things can happen. We can, if we move sideways, or we can come here. Okay. Now, um, which do I favor is the question. To be honest, I favor the downside because if I look at these monthly candles, in monthly candles are looking bad they're bad boys monthly candles are looking bad they're looking bad they're looking very bad they're looking very bad they're looking very bad monthly candles are bad boys you know they're looking bad <laughs> monthly candles are looking bad honestly they're looking quite red so um i'm just going to be watching gold at this level okay we probably play around here maybe a fake out to the upside I feel, I feel gold is going to drop. I, I don't have, I won't say 80%. Um, I won't say 80% to the downside because one thing I know about this market is anytime we get very, we get this close to a trend line, the market always wants to try and act man and then jump to the upside. So what I'm going to do is this. This is what I like to see in situations like this. Let me get, let me give you guys a little expo. I like to see a fake out. I like to see a fake out. Let the market try and run this area. I like to see a fake out, you know, to induce buyers and then drop down here and close down below here. That would be great for a good sell. Me personally, I like to always enter the market after a stop loss run. 
after a market major market manipulation has happened why because this this confirms my bias that we are not interested in going up we actually want to come down um this confirms my bias that the market makers are actually looking at the same thing that i'm looking at this also confirms my bias that i am in the same school of thought as the people who actually move the market so gold touch this area um pretty nicely um probably a fake out somewhere around here and then a, a four hour candle close somewhere down here i'll be good to go sweet all the way to the downside but for now i'm just going to be watching gold you get, all these pairs probably need another week if i'm going to be honest so today is tuesday wednesday thursday friday by this time next week maybe we should be looking at some execution but for now the market is just kind of like just trying to find its feet Guys, you have to understand that this market needs to fulfill certain technical levels before it eventually heads in this direction. It needs to fulfill the gold bouncing off from here to touch here is not by is not by accident. It knows exactly what it's doing. It wants to fulfill certain levels. So we as traders need to allow the market to fulfill those certain levels before we start clicking any goddamn buttons. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for staying till the very end. AUD, let me just quickly recap everything. AUD USD, um, break up this level four hour candle close sell, 80% to the downside, 20% to the upside. GBP USD, um, waiting for a break of this level 80 percent to the downside 20 percent to the upside the euro needs to come and marry this area properly maybe i could start to see some some more pressure to the downside that would be great i don't have a bias for euro at the moment because it's quite confusing there's no problem with being confused about the charts and then gold 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 and then guys one thing i want you guys to kind of like understand is um let me also draw this if i draw this trend line out here hmm, this gives me another bias give me a sec guys I need to look at this properly yes so this is what this is what might occur so if i draw my trend line very close and then if i draw another trend line here cool so and if i actually move the black line to touch the wicks of this candle this is what we're actually looking like so um i won't be surprised if gold actually tries to push a bit higher to fulfill all righteousness of maybe this trend line somewhere around here before eventually collapsing to the downside actually i'm going to delete this in that trend line let's see let's see a bit more clearly okay so gold for me isn't really no, no, it's not giving me the. Uh, there's no trigger to click the sell just yet. I'm no longer in this trade anymore. It's giving me a little something to add to my account. Um, so I'm just going to be watching gold. Like I said, most of these things take need a, at least another week for them to normalize and all that. Anything in between, you on your own trading lower time frames. I can't really say you know what's going to happen to you guys but this is exactly how i like to trade this is exactly how i know how to trade and this methodology has made me a lot of money in the past now guys before i run off for those of you guys who want the forex mastery program the link is going to be down below do yourself a favor and grab a copy and then you can be analyzing just like this in exactly 20 minutes you should be done with your analysis uh yeah so the forex traders go and spend time with your family the market is not ready to commit to it's not ready to give you any ginger <laughs> it's not ready to give you any trades at the moment so i'm just going to be watching i'm going to delete this line as well i just have a clear chart and i'm just going to be I, I always like to have everything clear just be watching i don't like to have too many levels and stuff like that so just come on AUD USD, what is happening? You can see everything is pretty clear, not too much, no indicators, no none of that. No da, 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 just clean, clean, clean boy. Alright, guys, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying till the very end. I love you guys very much. Take it easy and peace out.